Hi guys, so new version, Scilab. Um, so I'm gonna try to show you what's new. Um, so now it comes in uh, VST3 version. And uh, here it's standalone because I'm gonna show you the new function. You can uh, now um, extract pitch and amp uh, curves from a reference key. So uh, you add a ref, uh, ref file here where, where you can load uh, a kick but now I made uh, a bit easier is we're gonna init a kick here so I'm gonna pick init kick and uh, I, it make a basic patch with a sine wave uh, and a curve assign assigned pitch amp and now from the browser we can directly drag and drop in curve editor a file and it will try to extract this is the reference file and this is for uh, current settings it will try to extract the amplitude envelope and also the pitch envelope and automatically uh, make a Bezier, Bezier curve that match and then we can try to compare uh, the reference file is on this is a cloned version so it's quite close and we can still tweak uh, as we want uh, or, uh, or, 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 or envelopes uh, if you want to do it manually basically you can you have all the options here also you can clear the guides uh, load the ref file um, so when you load the file you can generate guides it generates only the visual reference and then you can uh, convert guides to Bezier to, to really make a Bezier curve and uh, so here I made two kicks to test Sometimes it's not perfect, you can zoom to, to compare and uh, also one thing to keep in mind it's, it's really made for kicks and uh, for sinus it tried to find the, the sinus and uh, apply the pitch envelope so it won't work very well if you have uh, distorted kicks or if you have a uh, lot of noise, if you have a uh, high hat at uh, the start it really it's really made to for bodies but it's quite a good match you can see here so you, you can gain sometimes uh, when you have a kick that you like you can uh, have a good starting point trying to clone it like this Here the reference has uh, some hi hat. You can't, uh, uh, it can't reproduce it, but you could add another oscillator and uh, the noise. If you do it manually, you can uh, choose the precision. For example, here you can, uh, if you use very high, you will have a lot of points on the curve. But it's not really handy, I find, because uh, when you want them to click yourself, so medium is a good uh, compromise, I think. And very low, it will have a very low number of points. So it's easier to click. So 
that's it. Uh, and then uh, there is the new I'm gonna in it and clear curve, clear guides. Um, there was also a function here in the sampler. You could, um, if you choose sampler, you could load a, a file and uh, with the advanced editor. We could um, calculate curve. I know it's a bit improved. It's um, you can choose by section. If you, for example, define this section, you can have a, you can try to calculate the curve. And if it miss points, you can uh, add uh, more precision. And then choose uh, the end section which need less points, for example on the calculate Bezier for example and um, yeah so it uh, it let you refine by sections and when you are done you can uh, refine tangents to match the, the tangents as close as possible you can uh, still edit by hand by uh, um, double clicking on a point to remove and adjust a bit the curve and um, and once you're done, you can uh, export to oscillator. So it can be cool to, if you have uh, some bass that you really like, you can uh, use the shapes and, and then tweak uh, as you want. Hope you like it, and uh, see you next. Bye.